Good morning. Hi. Welcome to Uncomfy Cherry. My name is Tinti and today I'm gonna show you all the things I bought to start a small art business. I also welcome you to like a shit show of a studio right now because I wanted to unbox this all on camera and like show you all the things I got. <laughs> Obviously like I unboxed um, like half of the things already from the boxes it came in because otherwise it would have like I, I just I just couldn't <laughs> I just couldn't wait. <laughs> but today I'm gonna show you all the things I got to start a small art business. And wow, there's so much stuff around me. I'm gonna start with the big things. I'm gonna start with my printer I got for myself, which is... I wanted to have a printer which is refillable and therefore I went with the Epson ET2850. I'm gonna open this now because I really, really, really want to. <laughs> hey! Oh, it comes with a software disc. <laughs> I like it. I really hate this material. Styrofoam. Ooh, the worst. Nice. I feel like I will need 
to start off my small art business. But I also have a few other things. First, I got myself some trays to bake my goods. Um, I usually always, like when I did clay before, 10 years ago fairly, um, I usually just use the normal trays. But I saw other people using a specific one for their products, so I bought myself specific ones. I got myself a little kitchen scale. It's not really a kitchen scale, is it? I think people usually measure other things with it, but... <laughs> I got myself a tiny little scale. Oh, there is another one. Let's do a nice peel. Is there another one? Oh yeah, there is another one. <laughs> I, I really, really love peels. Okay, nice. Does it work? Yeah, it works. It also weighs stuff. Nice. Um, so I can weigh my clay pieces and then I know, you know, that they are all the same weight and size. Handy dandy. And of course a bunch of clay. I have a big white clay and a big burgundy clay. Um, you will see why. <laughs> In probably the next video but yeah that's gonna be one of the things I hopefully will use a lot and then I got myself a beautiful green and this greenish yellow because this I really just got because I wanted it but this will like act as leaves and then I have a like a patch of a lot of small ones I got this multi-pack and there is like this small ones 25 gram pieces because I wanted to have a lot of colors but I didn't want to buy the usual Fimo size because I thought there is probably certain colors I will use not so often but would like to have small pieces and then I rather have them super small than very big so I have a bunch of those. These are also effect colors, which I thought might be interesting to try because it also has those nice little pastel colors in there. That's really mainly why I bought them. And some of the more classic colors. So yeah, those are definitely some of the colors I will use more, the classics, and I'm really excited actually for the white which is where is it ah there the white which is see-through but also the glow in the dark color because i think those are very fun also it glows in the dark like that's so cool <laughs> and with that i also got like liquid polymer clay to mix in the clay to make it a different texture basically and yeah i'm excited for those too Ah, it's so nice. <laughs> then I have all my tools, which I actually already had those tools, but those are all my tiny tools to um, make my keychains. And with those, I also have my keychain stuff, some small little rings, those little guys to make my initial part for the keychains and some magnets so let's put this all back in here then besides ooh, that was loud besides of the tools i already have because I've been sculpting before and like used them for different textures and stuff so I have those big soft sculpting tools and then I have a second tray where I have all the tools
tools which I think I will use more often because they're tinier. I also got myself some new ones. Because back then I didn't have those. <laughs> um, so I figured I'm gonna get myself some pointy tools to yeah, make this all happen a little bit easier. So those are my tools. A few cotton. What are they called? Those guys. I can't remember right now what they're called. Great, my brain is amazing. Q-tips, Q-tips. So I also got a few Q-tips in here. I got them with uh, bamboo because, you know, they're just a little bit better. And those are with paper. They are just a little bit of a different texture, basically. That's all the difference to it. Also have my little tray here for the alcohol. I got myself pastels. Um, I had some before, but I sold them actually because I never used them. So I figured why would I have them if I don't use them? I will upload my whole artist story probably very soon, but I basically like convinced myself that I'm not an artist and I will never do this again probably like almost a year ago. And yeah, it took me a year to realize that that's just not how it goes. I could not convince myself really that I'm not gonna make art my whole life again. So now I decided to make my own little business and yeah, long story short, but I bought myself some pastels. So beautiful. Then to um, glaze them, I bought myself UV resin. I have some gloves to protect my hands while doing the whole glazing part. Some paper wipes because that's what you need always and always for everything. <laughs> Alcohol, which I want to refill this in a smaller pot so it doesn't take up so much space on my table. And I think, oh, you're standing on the last piece I got. Excuse me. This is for the crew cut, crew cut. I always say crew cut. This is for the crew cut and it is the light grip mat. So I can just put the sticker tape on there and let it cut it out. <laughs> so yeah. I think that's the last piece I got for myself. Of course, like I have a bunch of acrylic paints and stuff like that, which I will also use for making my little clay friends. <laughs> but yeah, that's basically all I got to start my art business. <sighs> it's insane that this all is gonna hopefully um, start off something I was always dreaming of. So yeah, uh, again I will link all the products down below for you if you want to buy something or were looking for something and found it here. Thank you so much for joining in today, I really appreciate you and I can't wait to share more of my journey with you. I'm gonna try to do some vlogs about how I set everything up and stuff. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> this is making me so so happy. I'm like close to tears right now. Oh, it's finally happening. I've been like neglecting my art hard for such a long time and it's so so beautiful to finally acknowledge this part of myself again. So yeah, um, again thank you so much for watching. I hope you have the best day ever. And we see each other in the next video. Bye.